Hey nerds, how you going? My name's Gigi Edgley, I'm Chiana from Farscape and I'm the host of Jim Henson's Creature Shop Challenge and you're sitting down with Generally Nerdy, woo! Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Okay, so you do do, you do do, you, you, <laughs> you do have the Jim Henson show, you, you, and you are Farscape. Farscape was a little while ago. You currently are doing promotion as well for Hashtag. Yes, so, uh, so I moved over my, I've been living back and forward in between Australia and uh, LA for many years, for the last 15 years. Right. And I moved over on my last um, journey to host the second season of the Creature Shop Challenge and it didn't happen and I was devastated. And it's the kind of the way that the universe and this crazy weird um, business works is that you know, you're, you're, one moment you're on set and it's all cool and you're, you're cruising on an amazing show and yeah. then the next moment you're not. So right. you've got to find a good way of manifesting your own projects and it's kind of cool because it's you've got to keep a positive uh, frame of mind and it was really amazing. These beautiful producers approached me at Dragon Con and they gave me a script and they said, would you be keen to check this out? And it was hashtag. And I was like, yeah, this is it's absolutely something I want to be involved with. And it's a story about an uh, online media maven, and she's got 8 million subscribers, something like that. And uh, she, everything is uh, advertisement, you know. Right. She's yeah. totally mad. She thinks she's fine, but totally lost it. Right. And slowly but surely her world, world starts to crumble, and it's a satirical mark, a remark on uh, where we're all going with social media. You know? Yeah. Because it's a crazy little world we live in. So it was a Kickstarter. We asked for forty thousand. We raised just over forty-four, and it's been in post-production for a little while because when you do a Kickstarter, a lot goes back to Kickstarter, and a lot goes back to the rewards that mm -hmm. you give for the fans, and then you've left with a small portion of that to complete the film. Uh, I've seen the teaser. It's beautiful. I've seen the rough cut. And you guys are going to be blown away. But every time uh, we've had a really strong computer graphic artist working on it, they've got. Uh, they've got hired by a big paying job and we've lost them. Right. So it's taken us a while to yeah. get the computer graphics finished, but it's actually completed, going to be completed in the next couple of months. So I think you'll really dig it. They ran into a similar uh, issues with I Kill Giants. I just interviewed Joe Kelly, the uh, producer on the, or director even, or not director, writer. <sighs> Words. Uh, yeah, I so know. Is this, Words today are hard. <laughs> <laughs> is this the first time you've done something that's such a social commentary? Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's directly related right. to, to. It was funny because we, our opening shot was like the girl in the cubicle with the close up on the eyeball, and then Black Mirror came out with pretty much that opening shot. We're like, <laughs> dang it! So uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, probably the closest thing that I've done. I mean, there are other shows that have some intense political points in there, but this is probably one that's directly related to the social media does, side of things. Does that change how you approach the project, knowing that it's very socially relevant? Well, it's funny, because I'm like, social media is bad, but then I'm like, but at the, but then I'm tweeting it out. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, on Twitter, social media is bad. Wait, what? <laughs> so, I mean, it's a crazy beast. We love it, don't we? Because it brings us all together, but it also kind of disconnects us as well because everything's edited and everything's right. kind of removed. But one cool thing that social media has helped me do, thank you, social media, is um, uh, just recently... Uh, well, actually over the last year, my brother's a musician and I'm a musician, we play a lot together. And as a, kind of almost as a, just a bit of fun, I put on uh, Facebook and Twitter and said, I'm trying to bring my brother over because I want to jam with him. Do any of you guys have a backyard, a restaurant, a lounge room, a nightclub, a venue that you would want to host us at? And then I was doing a convention from New York at New York and I jumped on a plane to go to LA. By the time I landed in LA, I checked both feeds 
And the response was, was right. insane. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of doable. So we designed this beautiful tour. It's called the Wonderland Tour. And we're going all over the world, literally. We're coming to your area, so please check it out. It's a self-made uh, tour. It's not a big production company doing it. Um, if people want to uh, look up the site, it's www.wonderland.love. W-A-N-D-E-R. Dot love, L A N D dot love, <laughs> words, wonderland dot love, and it's very cool because uh, we're not just go going to put on a show. In each little town we're going to, we're joining forces with the people from the community that coming that are coming to watch it, and we've got like a, we've got a burlesque dancer, we've got someone performing live art as it, we do it, we've got uh, and other people that are coming and singing with us and stuff, and we've we're pretty much literally going Australia. UK, Toronto, and everywhere throughout America. So you can guarantee we'll be coming to a town near you. That's really cool. We're trying to settle on a Denver date too. So nice. So if you've got any hints, go onto the website and tell us. <laughs> uh, so it looks like I've got time for about one more. Uh, besides acting, what would you say is probably the nerdiest thing about you that other people might not know? Mm. Nerdy, nerdy. And apparently going to cons, because you go to a lot of cons, That's oh. and that's pretty well known. So. I love, I, yeah, probably I'm the biggest fan of the fans. <laughs> you guys think you, you, your fans, well, you haven't met me yet, because I stalk you. Uh, I've literally spent the last 20 years of my life going around comic cons and meeting all you beautiful people, and I'm so appreciative that you put up with me and look after me and send me around the world. It's a very special thing, so thanks for having me. Awesome. Thank you very much, Gigi. Generator, generator, don't fuck it up. Don't <laughs> frill it up. Don't frill it up.